All right. So now we're going to do a question on uh, the chapter of map, map and scale. Okay. So he says here a map of Singapore is drawn to a scale of one is to twenty five thousand. Okay. And then in part A they ask find the length in centimeters of a road on the map, which represents an actual distance of seventeen km long. So they're asking you if an actual road uh, measures seventeen km long. Uh, what's the distance of it on the map? So the first thing is definitely you're going to carry this down over here. So, a lot of uh, students have asked me, what exactly is the units for this? You realize it's unitless simply because you can actually place whatever units you want. So if I put 1 cm here, it actually represents 1 cm here, 25,000 cm here. If I put one meter here, it would have been 25,000 meters. Okay, but for the purpose of this question, we'll use cm and cm here. So the first, the next thing you need to do actually is to change this value here. Okay, but to recap, this is actually the map value and this is the actual value. Okay, so now I'm going to change the actual value of 25,000 cm to meters first. So first of all, divide by 100 you will get 25, 250 meters. Okay, and now I'm going to change this to kilometers. Why? Because they told you that the actual distance is 17 kilometers long. So changing this, again divide by 1000 meters, so I'll get 0 0.25 kilometers. So to recap, what we've seen so far is one cm on the map actually represents 0 0.25 km on the actual distance. So now, I'm going to rewrite it here. I want to know when it's 17 kilometers, how many cm it is here. So basically, this is a question on ratio. What do I do to multiply 0 0.25 to 17? In this case, actually, you could just do a quick calculation using a calculator. So what do I key into my calculator? You actually First press, um, oops, this minus space are ah, here. Seventeen divided by zero point two five. What's the value? Sixty eight. So actually, what I did here was not to divide by sixty eight, but actually multiply it sixty eight times. Here, okay, a small number to make it big. Obviously, I'm going to multiply, and so I'm going to do it the same on the other side as well. In other words, I will have sixty eight cm here. So. Basically, what we're trying to say here is 17 kilometers in the actual distance is represented by 68 cm on the map. Alright, moving on. On the map, the area representing a park is 60 cm centimeter square. Calculate the actual area of the park giving your answer in km square. So now you notice that we're talking about km square and cm square. So the root unit that I should use actually is the cm to km first. So I'll write it down here. Why do I use this? Because I know I have cm square that will come from here and km square that comes from here. Okay, so cm will change to cm square, km will change to km square. So how exactly do I do that? If I want to change it to cm square, I'll actually have to square everything here. Likewise, I'm going to square every single number here. And you realize that actually I've changed the units to centimeter square to km square. So what happens next is just really evaluating these two numbers here. One square obviously is still one centimeter square. So what is 0 0.25 square? You just key into the calculator and find out what it is in decimals. Okay, so it's 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Oops, what happened to it? 0.0625 kilometers square. So the question now is that oh, on the map, if it's 60 cm square, what is the equivalent value in kilometers square? So now this is easy. In fact, much easier than the previous one. To change from 1 to 60, I'm just going to multiply by 60 on this side. So I'm going to do the same on this side. So what will I get? 0 0.0625 multiplied by 60. 
what you get here is 3.75 kilometer squared. So the answer is 3.75 kilometer squared as the actual distance, uh, actual area of the park.